and welcome to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you what, thank you very much, Freddie. Bayer. I'll yes, tell you what, sir. The, this show is all about the veterans. This show is all about the veterans. It's also about Oneida, our good friends at Oneida Nation. ExploreOneida.com. We got some great comfort oh, foods. Do. Comfort yeah. foods wow. to cook today. We're going to feed everybody well. <laughs> it's a competition, but it's all for fun. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. We'll be right back after this. Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling is brought to you by Modern Home Products, the makers of MHP, Phoenix, and Profire Grills, All Things Jerky, Cherry Delight, Brew Pub Pizza, Healthy Homegrown Wisconsin Potatoes, Lash Bro Aerial Images, Sun Drop Soda, The Oneida Nation, and the New Oneida Market, and by Glorious Malone's Fine Sausage. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling. I'll tell you why. We are in the heart of the Oneida Nation right now. Good friends of ours. We're good friends with all 11 tribes of Wisconsin, uh, Native American tribes of Wisconsin. Oneida, what a great bunch of folks. I'll tell you that. Yes, beautiful blue skies. Be kind of beautiful time blue skies. The sky is always gorgeous when it's in Oneida. I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, and behind us here, we have 11 competitors. It's the third annual Veterans Grill Off. And uh, I think all but one team are veterans, but they support them at the, at the different associations. So we have all veterans around us. They're all grilling away. And it's a friendly little competition in, uh, in, in uh, ribs, yep, right? Burgers. In, in burgers and roast. A roast, yes. yes. And, and so they have them all going right now. We'll have a chance to interview all of them in just a second or two. Uh, but we have our own comfort foods today when it comes to grilling. And Meryl and I are having a little friendly <laughs> grill off with ribs. Yes, we are. Yes, and who's going to be the judge? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 I'm going to be the judge. Now, now, what type of ribs did you choose, Meryl? I did some beef ribs. Meryl did okay, some beef ribs. Beef ribs are very rich. Uh, I did my ribs a little bit different. I went ahead and seared them up first. I wrapped them up, placed them back on the grill for about two hours, okay? And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish them off with a mop sauce and put a barbecue sauce on there. So as you can see, those have been sitting on the grill. They are they up. are loose. They are That's loose. Good. They are I wonderful. Little, I was a little bit worried on that. Yep, they're, they're so yeah. Oh, and, good. And then good. here's what I did is I actually took pork ribs and I got a little lazy. I park cooked mine first without searing them. Okay. And now I'm going to sear them off. So right. I actually took my ribs, my nice racks of ribs, I seasoned them up, I, I wrapped them up in foil, and I put them in my oven for about two and a half hours okay. on a nice low heat for two All and right. a half hours on a low heat, but mine are pulling away from the bone, and that's what you want to see, and they're nice and getting a little pliable, oh, yeah. that's what you want to see. So we're going to toss those on the grill, and I've got two separate racks to do, and we're going to sear those up a little bit. Meryl, you going to make your glaze? Yeah, I'm going to make a glaze. I'm going to make, make a mop sauce here. And what I've got here in the uh, skill here, I've got some melted butter. <laughs> I've got some of their chai tea. So I really infuse this chai tea. I doubled the amount as you would for a cup, okay? Just a chai tea. I mix that up in there. So what Meryl did is mm. we, we went to the, together we went to the Oneida Market on the 500 block of Packerland Avenue in Green Bay. And the Packerland Avenue there at the Oneida Market, they got some gorgeous. Meryl was amazing. It was I was. It was just there. amazing. Great selection there. Yes. So I got some brown sugar in with my chai tea. I got some butter. But a little bit of W sauce. Wow. Okay. And then I'm going to have just a little bit of our number one. And I mean just a little bit. I just want a little bit of flavor of the barbecue sauce on there. As you can see, I just want to brush this on two or three times. And then maybe use the barbecue sauce at the end. I don't know, but I'm going to stir this up. Put it back on the wow. grill to heat that up, but it should come out absolutely delicious. Uh, I do like using the taste list. I'm sorry using my finger, but oh, it's perfect. That is perfect. All right, what's that, sir? <laughs> and with my ribs over there, now I'm searing them off right now. So we have them both over the top of the heat on the MHP grill. We're searing them off. And, and here's what we're going to do is I'm going to make a little bit of a glaze myself. And I wanted to put together a little number one barbecue sauce and honey. Okay. It sounds good and honey. sweet. Yes, dear. Yes. Uh, <laughs> but we could do that if we wanted to, but here's what we're going to do. I'm going to take, I went, the, the, the Oneida Nation is a very, a very proud uh, 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 community. The Oneida Nation is a very proud community. And you can go to Oneida.com to learn more, uh, but they actually have a nice little historical village. And we've shot our show there some uh, quite a few times. And there are actually houses that were moved there from the 1890s, 1880s. They were moved to the village and they got a great little community. 
Each and every year they have the Big Apple Fest there, and that takes place in the harvest. Yep, it's a good time. And what they do is the Oneida Nation knows that if we don't pass traditions on, if we don't tra pass the cultures and the history on, of our ancestors, we're gonna lose them. Yes, we are. So they have a big apple fest, they have great apple orchards, and they have a great community gathering, which we're all invited to. It's big mm -hmm. apple fest. You can go online at Explore Oneida and learn more, but it's just a gathering together. And it's the same thing with their powwow, which is always 4th of July weekend. It's a celebration of dance, and the dance tells a story. Oh, yeah. Just like music tells a story. And if we didn't pass music on, we'd lose it. I'm the keeper of ragtime. He's sure, the keeper, he's a keeper of ragtime. <laughs> The United Nations are the keeper of their <laughs> own keys, of their own tight box, of how they grew up in their nations. So they also have Junhinkwa, and Junhinkwa means to sustain. In fact, on the inside right now, they, they got a grant from the government, and to sustain Junhinkwa, they actually have an aqua and a hydroponics together, and they have nice tilapia fish that they grow that create fertilizer that is piped through, and aqua, aqua phonics grows beautiful lettuces and, and all greeneries that supply to the kids at schools. And we're going to take a little look at that right now. And you can see that. And it's a great little system. It really, really is. It's wonderful. So that's sustaining. That's also Junhinkwa, which is also their cannery and their pottery. So I'm going to take a little bit of our salsa. And this is a nice little medium salsa. So it doesn't burn Freddie's mouth. Gotta <laughs> <laughs> watch out for Freddie's mouth. Well, he likes now, it. Now, Meryl's ribs yeah. are looking gosh darn good. I'm sorry, Merle, I'm okay. not manhandling yours. Gotcha. Uh, so there's those racks of ribs. Now I got the seared action going on top of there. Now I'm going to move them over where there is no heat. And I'm just going to add a little bit of salt. I'm going to do a little salt for the border action with my ribs and add that to the top. But here's what we got right here. Let me show you a couple different things here. So I went to the Oneida market and I picked up a bison roast. And one of the categories here is roast. And I seared the dickens out of that bison roast on the grill. And then I added white wine and tomato juice and some garlic. And I cooked that bison roast down to where it's almost nothing and it's fallen apart. Wow. And that's a gorgeous bison roast. I can't wait. Uh, they're very lean. They're very delicious to do. And now if we head over here, this is comfort food. This is like the old, uh, do you know the term longhouse? <laughs> yes, I remember. The longhouse. Sure. The Native Americans had longhouses. It was a gathering place where they would get together and, and, and communicate and have a feast and talk, and they would have a market square. In fact, I'll tell you what, every Thursday, every Thursday during the summer and the fall, they have a great, every Thursday during the summer and the fall, they have a wonderful farmer's market. And every nationality, no matter who you are, they always had a town square where they would do farmer's markets. Right. And that's kind of neat. And they make no money on it, but they have to do it because they have to pass the tradition on. And they also have a beautiful wetland preserve. Now here's my meatloaf. So I took a nice meatloaf. The, 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 the Oneida Nation also has beautiful bison farm. They have their own black Angus, and they have a wonderful uh, grass-fed beef. And so they have all three of those that they harvest. And here's my meatloaf that I made. And I actually did this directly on the grates of the grill. I got two of them, two of them, and I did the meatloaf with just some egg and some bread and some mushrooms and onions. Beautiful. And we created a nice little meatloaf on the grill that we're gonna serve as a longhouse here to everybody here today. Everybody that's present is also invited. And then we did a, uh, you like bread stuffing, Fred? I think it'd be great. God, there you go. <laughs> Everything's great with Fred. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I actually made a nice bread stuffing. So I dried the bread nice out spoon. just like the Native Americans would do. I dried the bread out. I took sage and some other great herbs, and I made a wonderful bread stuffing, and this is gonna set up really nice in just a couple of minutes on the grill. So we're gonna cook that one just a little bit longer, but there's nothing you can't cook on the grill. That's true. And it comes out just absolutely wonderful. And then when we come back, I'll tell you what, when we come back, I did some beautiful lentil soup. And I'll show you how we did the lentil soup, and it's the way the comfort foods that the Native Americans would do. But let's take a little look at yeah. some of the competitors here today and see what's happening at the Veterans uh, Third Annual Cook-Off. You got it. Freddie, take it away. Hey, we're with, we're with Roger from Res Ribs, and you can, as a rule, you can find Roger at the Farmer's Market on Thursdays. Thursdays, yeah. And who's one of your better customers when I'm there? I'm this guy right here. Yeah. <laughs> Ribs. And I'll tell you what, I don't want to pick anybody to win today because I want to be non-partial, but Roger's going to give them a good running for the money. Hey, I'm going to call them the Toxin Boys, all right? Now, what do you guys actually go by the name of? Uh, Back of the house, boys, is what we go by. What are you guys grilling up today? Well, I'm doing some ribs, and uh, 
Pat's going to do some braised beef, and I, we got some burgers we're going to do a, late, a little later. Now, Pat, you're doing the braised beef. Any secrets or anything that you can tell us what you're doing? Well, I've got braised beef steaks I'm making out of the, uh, the beef butt. Mike, show them the beef butt. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, thanks a lot, Mike. I got from the little the little McToxins to, to Rod and Reese here. And this is your first year here, you said? Third year. Third year here, and have we won before? Yeah, we won the hamburger one before. And who's the, who's the old car club here? Uh, that's our car club that we uh, established in Oneida. Is it? Yeah. Yep. yep. And, 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 and how, what, what's your vehicle? Right here. This is one of mine. The Charger? The Charger, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. One of my babies. Hey, folks, Mad Dog and Merrill, nothing better than a pile of wings and Mad Dog and Merrill's grilling sauces. You got that right, Mad Dog. I'm ready to dig into these babies. <laughs> Number one, thick and rich. I'm going for the spicy. And it's the smokehouse for me, yeah. Oh, this time I'm going for the spicy. Oh, man, I got the hickory. <laughs> Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. As a mother, I choose healthy snacks for my children. What they eat now can have a lasting effect on their overall health. Cherry Delight dried cherries provide a healthy snack and taste delicious. Unlike sugary treats, these tasty fruit snacks are all natural and provide essential nutrients and vitamins important in growing bodies. From chocolate covered Cherry Delights to tart cherry juice, these snacks are full of nutrition. Visit us in Forceville, just 30 minutes from Green Bay, or order online at countryovens.com. Hey, hey, buddy, why, why the throwback uniform? Well, boys, you see, it's to celebrate the glory days, the pride, the passion, the tradition. Wow, what could be better than wearing a throwback uniform on game day? How about throwing back a green and gold citrusy sun drop soda in a throwback bottle while wearing my throwback uniform on game day? The pride, the passion, the tradition. Throwback a green and gold sun drop today. Pavelski. You've come a long ways, Joe. A two-time Olympian, a World Cup captain, and an NHL All-Star. How'd you get so good, Joe? Hard work and nutrition from Wisconsin Potatoes. Wisconsin Potatoes. Grandpa, please pass the potatoes. I got this. What? Healthy and delicious Wisconsin Potatoes. I came in initially for um, lower neck pain and back pain, headaches. Whiplash. Migraine headaches. I have never used chiropractic here before. I was very nervous. I decided to choose a back in action. Something amazing happened. Dr. Hansen has actually made some other improvements that I was not seeing him for. It wasn't actually back issues, but it was a nutritional issue. Dr. Hansen, he goes above and beyond. They're very thorough. I would highly recommend using back in action with Dr. Hansen. And relief is, is sooner than you think. Those oh, girls are right. blazing. Not good. <laughs> good job. Not good good. Job. I don't know what's happening to me. I think it's just uh, this good food. That's it. That's, That's exactly it. what it is. You know, the ribs that I did here today, those are actually falling off the bone just absolutely wonderful. We took a lot of good competition. Look at those. But those little sections of ribs are looking just absolutely wonderful. Yes. That one's for you, Freddie, okay? Looking you good. I can't wait. Right. So the, the bison roast, there's several different ways you can do it. A lot of people have those big claws like they do with the, with the pork oh, yeah. shoulder. Right. And they make pulled pork. Yep. Uh, we actually, as grillers, we'll actually take and we'll use tongs and we just kind of rip it apart a little bit. Exactly. And I want to get it mixed up with a little bit of the juices that are still left in there and just kind of shred up that bison. Want to try the bison? Yeah. It's got to be pretty gosh darn yeah, it's good. Got to. Got to have a nice little wine and tomato flavor to it. It's got to be wonderful. Oh. Pretty good job. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not a great so roast. So what you have in there? Tomato <laughs> wine. Yeah, I know. But Dried tomato onion wine. soup yeah. mix. <laughs> okay. And garlic. And that's it. Oh, that's delicious. And I bubbled it down. That See, is what, absolutely delicious. When, uh, when Meryl and I visit the Oneida Market on, on Packerland Avenue, and you can explore Oneida.com, please. And when you come to the area, take a tour. They actually do tours. They have a beautiful wetland preserve uh, that we were at one year. Uh, you can get gorgeous little things like these little uh, lentils, uh, split peas and lentils, and they're all multicolors. <laughs> they got beans, they got herbs, they got all kinds of great ideas for gifts. And what I did is I went and I got some pork hocks from there. All right. And the pork hocks are usually a little fattier. Yeah. So I lit the grill up on a high heat and I seared the edges of the pork fat 
to kind of like seal the juices in a little bit and All get right. rid of some of the fat. And, and here's what we did. Okay. And I'm gonna show this. And then I cooked those down, made a stock, and I took the lentils and I made a gorgeous split pea soup Ooh, man. with wow. celery and onions and, and, and the, that pork back in there. And we're gonna serve that up to some of the nice folks here, all the veterans because of the service they did. Uh, we'll serve them back a little bit with a little bit of food anyway. So that's a great way to do lentil soup. And you can do that on the grill. And a lot of people do soups and beans and they do that dressings and they leave like right now, I'm gonna finishing off the dressings back here. I'm actually gonna lift the hood off from here so that we can actually get more of the flavor and more of the smoke going to that beautiful bread stuffing back there. Oh, it's gonna be good. And that's with ground pork in there. Yeah, I'm slicing up the beef ribs. They're very rich, you know? The one thing I like beef ribs, but boy, about two of them are just enough for me. They're a little <laughs> bit too, too heavy, but look at these babies. Yeah. I can they are gloves off. No, can I? They're nice. Let me see that a little closer. All right, all right, all right. All right. <laughs> Freddie, I'll give you some more later. I don't want you to get your hands on this on the old keyboard. I'll wait. Tell us, I can hardly wait. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, you guys are there eating like crazy. Well, beef ribs those are kind of good. <laughs> well, they are. Now, see my pork ribs win. Okay, how'd your pork ribs? How'd your pork ribs go? Oh, they won the competition. <laughs> hands down. <laughs> they are delicious. Mm. Let's take some more interviews with some of the great veterans that we're supporting here today that are in the competition. We'll be right back with more Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grilling after this. Good rip. Hey, 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 I'll tell you what, I'm with a couple of great vets. This is straight up Army and this is straight up Marines right here. I've got Teddy and I got Jules right here. And Teddy, the whole thing is about the veterans here and you were Korean and Nam. Oh, Neva. Yes, I mean, yes. <laughs> yes, well, yes. And Jules, I'll tell you what now, Jules, you look like a Marine. Yes, there you go. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> In your younger days. My younger days, yeah, yes. So the competition today, what do you think? What do you think your competition is around here? Oh, I think we've got some tough competitions yeah. all the way around. But, but you're going to do okay? We're going to do We're going to knock some of them out of the way. Yeah, exactly. There, yep, so there you go. ribs, burgers, and? And uh, roast. And roast. Yep, bread. yep. And mm -hmm. corn. And corn for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, if it were for tough guys winning the competition, you'd do it, I'll guarantee you. Good luck today, Jules. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Teddy, Appreciate I'm it. proud of you. Yeah. You're a good man. Yeah, I don't you care what too, your yeah. first two wives said. Oh. <laughs> no, three. Three. <laughs> Cindy, you got any special ingredients in the burgers? Uh, yes, yeah, something special in the burger we can't say. Oh, it's secret. Please. Secret. You can't tell me at all? No, no, no. Can I ask you what type of wood you're going to be using? Uh, we're using cherry wood, actually. Cherry wood. You know, it's really interesting because I've seen a lot of cherry wood around here. And I love cooking with, with cherry wood. Glorious Malone's gourmet head cheese and country pâtés are southern deliciousness. Tender pork, blended spices, and bold flavors. Superbly handcrafted fresh, without fillers, jellies, or preservatives. Glorious Malone's quality flavors have been loved throughout the Midwest for over 60 years. Enjoy it sliced on crackers, or think outside the cracker. Try it on pizza, burgers, stuffed pork, and more. Ask your grocer for Malone's. Mmm, southern deliciousness. We dig Wisconsin potatoes. Healthy grown, eco-friendly Wisconsin potatoes. Potatoes that are appealing. One medium potato harvests 110 calories. They're high in potassium and sodium free, which is good for your heart. They're also free of fat, gluten, and cholesterol. And full of vitamins and minerals. From farm to fork, Wisconsin potatoes provide the most nutrients per penny. Which makes Wisconsin potato growers outstanding in the field. Brew Pub Pizza is specifically designed with the hungry in mind. It's big, it's bold, and it's outrageously delicious. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza is made with your favorite premium meats and veggies topped with over a half pound of real Wisconsin mozzarella cheese. When you're looking for the ultimate pizza adventure, when you crave a really serious pizza that brings the great Brew Pub experience, this is the one. Pick it up today at your favorite local grocer. Brew Pub Lata Matza Pizza, the ingredients for a great time. Lashbro Aerial Images, a division of Lashbro Visual Communications, is a premier drone imaging company. Stunning high definition video, compelling high resolution photography. Lashbro Aerial Images is remote pilot certified and fully insured. Images for advertising, broadcast, print, online, mapping, real estate, and more. Take your vision to the next level with Lashbro Aerial Images. 
Mad Dog and Merrill here. Try our to work. I love sun-ripe tomatoes on my burger. Sun-ripe tomato, it's all in there. Man, I love sauerkraut on my sausages. <laughs> sauerkraut, it's in there. <laughs> uh, I love spicy mustard on everything. Spicy mustard, it's in there. It's so sad, I love onions. <laughs> Onions, it's in there. DeWorks, no more mess. All in one condiment, and now DeWorks with sweet pickle relish. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. <laughs> Welcome back to Mad Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grill at ExploreOneida.com. Take advantage of all the culture, all the history, all the tradition that Oneida has. It's a great community. And I'll tell you what, from everything from the powwow to the Big Apple Fest and all the great tours you can take. And Powell Big Apple Fest. Oh, and the Farmer's Market. Oh, that's great a great market. market. Great market. market. Yep, you bet. <laughs> and, and he, here's the next thing we're going to toss on the grill. <laughs> These are absolutely wonderful. You know, pork steak is wonderful. Yes, it is. Pork you steak is great. It's delicious, got a great, a lot of great fat in there, but this is actually smoked pork steak. And anytime you get a smoked cut of meat, now the Native Americans back in the 1800s, and so did everybody else, during the winter time, it was rough. Yeah. Yes, it was. You think we have a rough, now we gotta turn the heater on in the car. <laughs> in the 1890s, in, the, in those little homes here in Oneida, I'll tell you what, they had to preserve cuts of meat for the winter time, and it wasn't easy. No, it they wasn't. had to either use brines or they had to smoke. And most of the competitors today are smoking all the items that they're doing here today. Wow. So they're kind of reenacting that. We we go to the we go to the butcher shop. <laughs> they're made, man. They're made, man. <laughs> and we go out, we get ourselves some smoked pork steaks. Yep. And we're living it high on the hog. It only took about five minutes to go <laughs> in. Get the whole stick out of there, man. You're you gotta explore Oneida.com. You gotta learn about all the great traditions, all the hardships, and all the good times that existed. And that's with all cultures. Uh, but with Oneida, they're great folks, and they have a lot of great events and a lot of great community awareness, and that's the main thing. Yes, it well, is. It, it really, really is. I mean, that's a great thing, and you gotta teach a kid. Pass the tradition on. That's right. Teach a kid how to play music. Teach a kid how to grill. Teach a kid how to hunt, how to fish. Teach a kid, teach a kid, for God's sake, something. That's Nowadays, right. they don't know how to do it. No. Well, that's how I learned about a two-dog night. Do you remember that story? No! no. It, would, it would get so cold that, of course, they would bring the dogs in to, to nestle with them at night. night. And if it was getting really cold, you know what it would be? Well, your wife? <laughs> <laughs> a three dog night. night. Three yes. Dog night. Interesting. I say your wife. <laughs> History by the, the geniuses here. I learned so much on this show. How much can you believe? We don't know. No. We okay. know. Here's what we're doing right now. This is what's great about, uh, about Oneida and the traditions that we passed on. I've got a little table spread out here. Uh, we've got some of the great little uh, split pea <laughs> soup and lentil soup kind of mixed together with the pork hocks. I got meatloaf to serve up, and we're going to serve it as a little sampling to everybody. And that's what the culture is all about. That's what it's all about is just living together. And that's what we need to do is just all live together. The Native Americans, the Oneidas, they had the, the white pine tree, which was the peace tree, which all the clans gathered together. All the clans gathered together to discuss peace and traditions and how they're going to live together. So that's Good. a great thing to do. Just like the three of us gather together. The three dogs? A three dog <laughs> nights gather together. <laughs> We're going to take another little tour of the great little grill off here at Oneida. <laughs> we'll be right back. Marine Corps. Marine Corps for you and? Air Force and Army. Air Force and Army. So a couple tours. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, good for you. Good for you. We appreciate it, by the way. Oh, thank you. My yep. And, and, and there also, besides that, they've, you, how many times you won the ribs? Two years in a row. Two years in a row. Yep. Any, any specialties? Any, any uh, why, that, why? Do we know that, why? That's classified. Yeah. <laughs> classified information, is that true? Yeah. What type of wood we got? We got a bunch of wood uh, back here. We got some apple and a little bit of, um, I think we got some cherry. You're smoking on an Oklahoma Joe here. Eddie, uh, what type of wood are you using? Oak. Oh, why well, oak is a really good uh, recipe here. So have you done this uh, trial and error? Nope. I, well, I bought the grill about a month and a half ago, and I've been doing oak every okay. weekend. Yeah. I've been smoking every weekend. Yeah, so. it's good. It's a good thing. I like these easy names so far. We're talking with Terry and Carrie. Correct? Gary. Gary. Terry and Gary. Okay, gotcha. Terry. 
Harry. Is it Harry? K. K. Carrie. All right, Carrie. I'm getting it right, Carrie. Now, Terry. Okay, which one are you now? I'm actually okay. Meryl, but I won't okay. even tell you what my first okay. name is because we'll get everybody screwed yeah. up here. Yeah. Sure. So, what you cooking up? What do you got on the grill right now? What I got on the grill right now is some uh, spare ribs and a pork roast. All right. And you're sm smoking the. What type of wood are you using? I'm using hickory wood and cherry. Now, Meryl, you sink this pot, you win the tournament and the coveted cooler of ice-cold sundrop soda. Pal. Sundrop. Pull the pin. Locally bottled, crisp, old-fashioned flavor, sundrop. Make your summer fantasy come true. What's your summer sundrop fantasy? Are you tired of the same old thing? Moo. Taste the wild side with exotic edibles from All Things Jerky. Check out our large selection of exotic jerky and frozen meats. Gator, kangaroo, boar, bison, elk, and more. Try before you buy with our bulk beef jerky. We carry hot sauces and supplies to make your own jerky and sausage. The perfect gift for every occasion is our mug of meat and gift boxes. Visit our stores in Eagle River, Minocqua, and Appleton and shop online at allthingsjerky.com. More than just jerky, All Things Jerky. Hocus Pocus Grillorama. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you grilling magic. Grilling magic, a perfect blend of garlic and pepper and other magical ingredients. I'm Grandma Hazel. Try my secret family spice blend, passed down from generations. Steaks, fish, burgers, chicken pork, all things grilled. Grandma Hazel never rubbed you wrong. <laughs> the best in the Midwest, grilling magic, Grandma Hazel, and our own season all. Ask your grocer for Mad Dog and Merrill. Inflammation and muscle pain can prevent us from activities such as walking, golfing, exercising, and more. Rapid Performance Products provides all natural relief utilizing the superfruit tart cherries. Rapid Red contains natural antioxidants that help combat the inflammation and pain of our muscles associated with activity. To help the aging maintain their muscle mass, try our Rapid Whey with 12 grams of whey protein isolate. Keep fit and stay active with Rapid Performance Products. It has been reported that Mad Dog and Merrill's signature sauces and spices have been seen around the world. And now we want to know where in the world is Mad Dog and Merrill? Take a selfie holding a Mad Dog and Merrill's product in front of a sign or interesting landmark. Post the photo to Mad Dog and Merrill's Facebook page. And once a month, one lucky fan will win a grilling set of Mad Dog and Merrill's products. Go to Facebook.com slash Mad Dog and Merrill. Happy grilling! Well, I'll tell you what, we have a great time today. We got Air Force over here. We're serving yes. up a great Nam vet. He's serving up a little bit. We started a new tradition, pea soup and meatloaf together. <laughs> What's good, man? <laughs> Dog and Merrill's Midwest Grillin' is a production of Lashbro Visual Communications.